The Marath line was a series of defences on a horseshoe-shaped uh, line of hills. The Germans have taken these over and considerably reinforced them. But my battalion was ordered to attack them. General Montgomery came around and said, when I give a party, it's a good party and this will be a good party. Well, it wasn't, because High Command had said, air reconnaissance shows that the position is only very lightly held and there seem to be very few mines. The position was defended by the 90th Light Division of the Africa Corps, backed up by the 15th Panzer Grenadier, plus of supporting troops and a lot of artillery. It wasn't lightly held. There were two enormous minefields, which they hadn't shown up on air reconnaissance, because it doesn't, because it, you don't see anything of a minefield. It's just flat ground. Anyway, the minefields there, and a captured German officer later said he couldn't imagine how anyone had crossed those minefields. They were so thickly sown with two types of mine. The Teller mine, which is anti-vehicle and anti-tank, and the S mine, which is a nasty anti-personnel mine, and if you tread on its igniter, it comes out of the ground and bursts at waist height and scatters shrapnel in every direction. And the whole place was covered with these things. Well, we lost 76 men on that minefield before we even got there. And to, to the surprise of high command, we actually took all our objectives. But because of the minefields, it was impossible to bring up by vehicle the heavy weapons the machine guns, the uh, gun, uh, anti-tank guns, what have you, mortars, because they would have blown up on the minefield. Consequently, although we had taken our objectives, we had to be withdrawn. So from nine o'clock at night on 16 March until four o'clock on the next morning, my battalion's total casualties were 23 officers and 256 men in one night. So the battalion was, it didn't recover, obviously, because it was impossible to get a, a large number of reinforcers back out to us again in that time. And so we finished the, Italian, the North African campaign, which was finished by May of 43, um, just doing routine work and defensive positions and patrolling and that sort of thing. So then we received a very big, big draft from England, which brought the battalion back up to strength again. We were rearmed and began to train for the invasion of Italy.